what's up, guys? If you are into music reaction channels that are honest, raw, and authentic, look no further. You found your destination. It is the Taz and Philly Show. Welcome to our journey. And make sure that you subscribe below and enjoy the show. <laughs> We're a reaction channel with a podcast vibe. So we know there's people out there that like podcasts. We know there's people out there that like reaction channels. We want to try to merge the two together. We're real and authentic, and we want you to represent music appreciation like we do. So always make sure that you like and comment on the songs that we react to, as well as go to their YouTube channel and subscribe. And maybe even a step further and purchase one of their songs. Um, also, make sure that you always check the pinned comments that we have, and also our community tab, because we always post stuff up there. You never know. might be something that's beneficial to you. Please also check out our Discord. It's in the description links. Uh, we have a lot of great channels on there, and it's completely free to join our Discord. So thanks so much. Hey, everybody. What is good? How you doing? This is your guy, Taz with Taz and Philly. Came here to give you what you want. Reactions. Uh, this is a special reaction because this reaction is based on our contest winner. Um, if you're new to the channel, every Tuesday we post a contest in our community tab. You pick a number, and if you win the number, then you get the song and artist that you requested. So the, uh, the winner this week has chosen this song. I'm pretty excited about it. I haven't heard it yet, but I see in the title... It has Game of Thrones, and I just loved watching Game of Thrones every week. Um, and I was very sad when it went off the air. Uh, so, but I haven't heard this song before. Well, I did hear it, its rendition on Game of Thrones during some very iconic scenes, but I definitely never heard it sang by Joff, uh, Jeff Castellucci. So, um, this is going to be exciting, and I haven't even heard it yet. Um, but the winner of the contest is Jackie Friedman. So Jackie Friedman, congratulations. First of all, thank you so much for participating in the contest. You have requested this song. This song is definitely for you. Appreciate your support. Um, Jeff, I don't know. I always get tricked on that word. Well, I know why I know. I know people in my life who spell it the same, but it's pronounced differently. So my brain always tugg tuggles back and forth. So I apologize, but I think he pronounces it Jeff. We'll just say Jeff for argument's sake. Um, but I know other people who s pronounce it differently in life. But um, in any event, he has just an amazing voice. And I thought initially when I first heard him that he could only sing the deep bass baritone, but he can actually has different ranges, which is such a talent. I mean, not every singer, of course, can do that. So that just adds more layers to his awesome musicality. Um, so it's going to be exciting to hear his amazing voice singing a song that's relatable and re relevant to one of my favorite TV series, which, again, I'm sad it went off the air. So this is Reigns of Castamir um, by Jeff Castellucci. Um, and we always represent music appreciation on this channel. So please, if you haven't already, let's say go and support support them together when they're with voice play. But in this case, this is on his own channel. As you see here, we subscribed to Jeff a while ago, um, but not this song. So I'm going to like it. So I'd like you to do the same. Let's please represent these artists that we love so much and please like and comment on their songs and subscribe to their channel if you haven't already. But subscribe to a second. Don't forget, smash those notifications and so forth. We appreciate that. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, well, this is still it's January 4th or 5th. So happy new year. Happy 2024. We hope that 2024 is better for you, better than last year. Um, really wish you well. Um, we care about our subscribers, a.k.a. Fantastics. If you ever have any ish, as I like to call it, going on and you need to vent or anything like that, you can always reach out to us on one of our um private messages on our Instagram or TikTok page. You can also join our Discord for free. And there's a dedicated section we have there where you can vent 
and get things off your chest. So just know that you're never alone. Okay. That's very, very important. So hopefully you're all okay. Um, so back to Jeff. So this is Jeff Castellucci, the reigns of Castamere. Really excited to play this and hear it for the first time. And I'll react more afterwards. So here we go. And who are you? The proud Lord said that I must bow so low. Only a cat of a different coat. That's all the truth I know. Wow. <laughs> In a coat of gold or a coat of red, a lion still has claws. And mine along and sharp, my lord, as long and sharp as yours. spoke, and so he spoke, the Lord of Castamere, but now the rains weep o'er his hall, with no one there to hear, yes, now the rains weep o'er his hall, with not a soul to let this play through you know i don't want to stop anybody's marketing hustle you know it's like we have our own so oh my gosh more seconds and his props okay so that was it oh my goodness i just had flashbacks the whole time i was listening to that and watching that because it just made me reminiscent on when i was watching game of thrones i faithfully watched that um i think i originally got into it because one of my best friends mcdevitt um i think he's the one that got me into it because he's he's really really into game of thrones like he's he's read the books and then he's heard the audio books and then he's watched the series and then i would get excited and watch the series with him and then I've seen many seasons like repeatedly. Um, so it was just, it was one thing that we did together and that we related to and stuff like that. And it's, it's just so good. I mean, it had a good storyline and depth and then also just the visuals and everything like that. Like some of the scenes that they did throughout the season of Game of Thrones was so visceral. Like it almost felt like you were there. Like they just really, they did not hold back when they had like certain scenes. So this particular song um, reminiscent on the um, the Red Wedding. Uh, I remember that scene vividly, um, you know, with Lady Stark and then, you know, seeing her son 
Rob die. And like, I felt the pain of like when um, Rob's wife, pregnant wife, no doubt, was slaughtered. The whole thing was just a giant massacre. I mean, that was just crazy. And then I couldn't help but laugh like at the end of the red wedding when like um, uh, when Lady Stark had, um, oh my God, I forgot his name, the king's uh, wife. I forget. Forgive me. It's been a while. So Lady Stark had the, the king or the Lord's wife and he's a, he, she's threatened to kill his wife if they didn't spare Rob. And he simply said, I'll get another, like another wife. And I'm like, damn. Um, but I mean, they did that back in the day. Um, I'm sorry. I went off on a tangent because I was just having flashbacks of Game of Thrones. So yeah, really reminiscent of watching it with my best friend McDevin on that. Um, so to Jeff. Oh my God, the way he did that, first of all, his voice, powerful. Like not many people you would think when they get to their deep register would still have that clarity, but you can still hear his words. Like they're not lost in translation where you just hear like this deep mumble or whatever. Um, and some, some sometimes at certain points it's so needed and emphatic, like here, like, you know, this is, this is a song that's based on one of the most tragic scenes of the show and that deep voice like to me signifies like you know death death is coming death is there um and then also in the scene that was also that song uh with joffrey um the wedding scene um uh so that was really deep as well it was cool how jeffrey her jeff rather uh portrayed the different um Lannisters and then showing the Iron Throne like it was cool seeing how they he kept transitioning to their to their clothes and to and representing them and they were all had their spots as sitting on the Iron Throne so it's really cool how he did the video there um, such a powerful powerful song um, it's really cool that he took that approach so he obviously likes Game of Thrones too Jeff to have done this um, and I think that was a really bold but uh task to take because you know not everybody can just sing this particular song and be committed to it and it sounds believable and you can almost picture him singing it like there at that present time on game of thrones but jeff was the guy to do it so i really really loved that overall um in the flashbacks that it gave i'm probably gonna have to watch game of thrones again now i have been watching house of dragons let us know in the comments if you started watching house of dragons hope you knew about this season one i watched the whole season one again with my best friend mcdevitt um which is a spinoff of game of thrones hopefully there'll be some other spinoffs that come into fruition um but that was just a really really great show um from the lannisters and the um the starks phrase and everything and then the white walkers all when the white walkers came into the scene uh oh my god such great cinematography and everything overall great storyline <clears throat> so all right thanks jackie okay so um congratulations i'm happy that you won and happy that you picked this song so it just so happened um as soon as i saw it said game of thrones i was like okay <laughs> really really excited about that um all right. Well, thank you for everybody for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. Again, I hope you have a good 2024. Um, give some time for you. That's my little tip for this year. Make sure that many times throughout the week or the month or whatever, give some time for yourself. Um, if you're the type of person that does for others all the time, which is great and all, but make sure every once in a while to spoil yourself and do stuff for yourself. Cause you deserve it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. If you're working a lot and things of that nature out there and you know, you know, it, don't, don't make it a point to always work, eat, sleep, work, eat, sleep, rinse and repeat. Make some time to spoil yourself. Even if it's just for an hour a day or something to just take a deep breath and exhale. Um, I know there's a lot of hard workers out there. My best friend McDevitt is one of them. A very, very hard working, um, single dad. So proud of him. Um, but I tell them sometimes, you know, make sure that you give yourself some time to, to breathe. So, uh, yeah, thanks Jackie for the flashback of game of Thrones and, and everything like that. And Jeff, you did amazing. I wish you continuous success. 
Um, I loved everything about it. This comes to the part of our show then where we always do our thumbs up ass. <clears throat> Excuse me. We always do our thumbs up pass, thumbs down ass if we don't like a song. Come on now. The way I was talking, boom. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Really, really like that. So let us know in your um, in the comments how you like this song, um, how you resonated when you saw like those tragic scenes and stuff like that. Were you like a Game of Thrones lover? Um, and have you watched House of Dragons and stuff on season one? Season two, I think, is coming summer of this year, 2024. So I'm excited about that. Um, all right. Well, this is Taz with Taz and Philly. Thanks so much. And I want you to take it easy and keep it breezy. <laughs>